Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about theory. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, I am really good at all the theoretical aspects of computer science, but I'm not so good with programming. What should I do? Well, if you want to be an academic or work in computer science or like data science or something like that, if you want to stay in theory land, then that's absolutely fine. Uh, it's probably a good idea for you to, at the very least, get some sort of skill with computer programming because it's kind of like, well, I mean, if you're a football fan and you know everything about football, it's kind of normal for you to just know all the things about football, but not kind of be as good at playing it but if you're gonna do something for work purposes if you're gonna be an expert in computer science it's gonna be really weird if you don't know the first thing about writing any code it's uh, th th that's something I think you should brush up on and this is honestly I've seen this a few t more than a few times uh, we've had many candidates in diff on different jobs that I've been on where you get in these college kids usually who are in theory, I mean even we've actually had a senior or two uh, do this who are theoretically very very good like they are extremely accomplished in terms of academics like they have fancier degrees that I can't even tell you what they are like there there's so many letters in there but the, it's it's they're very fancy and they look really nice but they can't produce and that is a problem I I worked with a dude who was a he was a mathematics major I think he had a master's or something in that and with the side of computer science and so forth and he still is like one of the weakest coders that uh, like uh, he you know, at, when I was working with him he was still like I I don't think that much has changed because he is not a strong coder he can get the job done but he needs a lot of assistance and his uh, his personal development cycle like uh, trajectory isn't as high as some of the other developers and that's not I mean everybody's different but what I'm saying is that just because you're uh, in theory really really good the one time he really nailed like everybody like he was he, he just completely smashed everybody was when we were we had a, a robot wars type of uh, thing going where basically the challenge was very simple you had a function that you should implement that took a data structure of an imposing robot and then you needed to return a coordination uh, coordinate value where you basically were firing missiles at each other and then moving your own position versus uh, you, you have the your position and the robots position and then you needed to return like what's your position going to be and what's the uh, what's the missile like, in what trajectory are you going to send uh, your missile so you're basically trying to create a function that is cleverer than the other one so that you're going to avoid the missiles coming at you by s and at the same time firing really accurately at the opponent he completely nailed that he took out the senior staff in the, in that challenge because it you I mean it was just a function and the rest was down to mathematics and and so forth and I mean that he he was a master of but most of the regular day work he he, like he 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 had real problems, like really serious problems for uh, for years, and that is one. These this is one of those reasons why I urge you so much to not get too bogged down into the to the algor into the algorithms. The algorithms, guys, the, in computer science, they are important, and data structures, they are important. But you cannot underestimate the importance of hands-on experience. You need to be able to both talk the talk and walk the walk. And if you're only good in theory, or you're only good with controlled exercises, you're not going to be a very good software developer. I mean, the, the person in question here doesn't actually state if they want to be a software developer, but I'm assuming. So if you want to be someone who gets paid to do coding, you need to be good at coding. Theory is nice, theory is good, it makes you a better developer, but at the end of the day, the produced results are, it's the, it's the gold standard. It is the thing that people are looking for. So for you, I really urge you, get more hands-on experience. You, you don't, like, you go, like, go off, go off, um, topic for computer science related things for a while and build I don't know build web applications it's a, or if you don't, if you're not into that build CLIs build actual applications make things like just like a 
I know it's not fun for the the theoretical scientists, but you know, go into engineering, uh, do make doodads, make little quir quirky things that that are kind of cute, but doesn't really solve the mysteries of the universe through math. Do that for a little while, so you get some hands-on practical practical experience, so you have a fallback career in case being a super genius doesn't work out for you. So what I want you to take away from this is that uh, if you're really good at computer science in theory and you have a lot of academic prowess, uh, that's very great for you. That's uh, th This is a very good foundation, but you cannot underestimate the importance of practical hands-on experience because if you want to do anything outside of the like whiteboards and mathematical models and so forth, you need to be able to produce results. And I can promise you right here, right now, the challenges that you will face at an average software company in terms of code and complexity is magnitudes larger than whatever you have found in like nothing you have done uh, in like textbooks or in uh, in school or on uh, on different courses online will compare to the amount of code and complexity that you will face in the real world it is i can only say that it, it is like a complete awakening for most people. Most people get very overwhelmed about, at the mag like how much code we're talking about here. Uh, and in order for you to survive in that environment, you need to actually be able to, to use the skills that you have learned from school. So unless you want to be a, a, a just a complete academic for the rest of your career and work primarily in that space, start building things like you, Take some time off from just focusing on algorithms and mathematics and so forth, and focus more on building actual things, some stuff that programs that do something useful, and that is going to give you the the hands-on experience that you so desperately need if you want to overcome this limitation. Have a great day.